Thank you. Mm -hmm. Be quiet when you come out. No. <laughs> Am I the one going to greet the people? Or are you? I came in. Please don't do that. I can't see. Are you going to use the glasses or not? I have to to read. Unless you read. I'll read. Then I don't have to use them at all. Thank God. <laughs> okay. Oh, I can't see what I wrote down. <laughs> I'll just have to leave them on. Are you ready? <laughs> Listen, can we do this without all this at least just one time? I'm not doing anything. You are. Every time we go to record, you start being silly. I'm not. You're the one with the glasses. I, did, I, was, I wasn't trying to. <laughs> Whatever. Let's just. Hey, I'll guys. read. So you can. Hey, now. Are you ready? Tell me when you're ready. Greetings, everyone. We hope you've enjoyed the uh, excerpt from our Bible. Um, uh, Let's start again. It's our prayer. A weekly prayer Zoom. Yeah. Weekly prayer Zoom call. <laughs> <laughs> do you want me to do it? No, because I'm reading. You do it. Greetings, everyone. We uh, just like to thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoy the excerpt from our weekly prayer Zoom meeting. Uh, it was a, a, a very blessed time of fellowship that we had on that day. Uh, Lady Renee Wagner shared uh, just some encouraging words with us on that day, and it was just really, really good. Mm -hmm. So we hope you enjoy the uh, excerpt from, uh, from that Zoom. Uh, but we are here today, and we are going to uh, go into the Word of God. I am here with my wonderful wife, Pastor LaWanda Swan, and uh, we are going to uh, share with you what the Lord has placed on our heart. Uh, the Lord has been speaking with us about being His workmanship. Mm -hmm. So the word workmanship has uh, what stood out to us during this this month, and. Uh, and the theme is uh, created for good works. Created for good works. So we are created for good works. If you have your Bibles, we're going to ask you to take them out. Uh, and we are going to go to Ephesians, the second chapter. We're going to begin there. There are different Bible verses that we will share as we uh, minister. But uh, we're going to start there. And Pastor LaWanda is going to uh, read. And uh, we'll begin with her. All right. So Ephesians, the second chapter, we're going to read verses 1 through 10, and I'm going to read it out of the New King James Version. It says, And you he made alive, who were dead in trespasses and sins, in which you once walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit who now works in the sons of disobedience, among whom also... We all once conducted ourselves in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature children of wrath, just as the others. But God. But God. And that's the theme for uh, my team at work this year. But God, who is rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loved us. Even when we were dead in trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved, and raised us up together, and made us sit together in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. That in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness towards us 
in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. And this is our uh, verse for the month. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. We thank God for his word, and we pray blessings upon the hearers. Amen. Amen. And so, uh, as I forestated, and as uh, Pastor Lawanda read, we are talking about being the workmanship of God the Father. And in some translations, I was sharing with uh, Pastor Lawanda earlier, mm -hmm. that uh, it says, we are his masterpiece. Yes. <laughs> it gives yeah. it a whole nother spin mm -hmm. when you talk about being his masterpiece. Yes. You know, I think about, uh, and I was sharing with you, and I, I'm sharing with you guys too. I was thinking about how we are created in his image and after his likeness. Yes. And how if you don't really know this, and if you don't know who you are, Yes. then people will superimpose their thought of you. Yes. And if you don't know who you are, you can embrace that. You can become what other people say that you are. Mm -hmm. And so that's why it's so very important to understand that we are his workmanship. Yes. Yes. We were created by him for his will yes. and his purpose. Yes. And so when we uh, come into that knowledge and that understanding, then we are not so easily swayed to become something that we were not created to be. Yeah, and when I think of masterpiece, I think of art, I love art. And I think about those pieces of art that have been done and people call them masterpieces. And the thing about a masterpiece is that it's rare. Yes. And the thing about a masterpiece is that it has great value. Yes. Um, this is the way that God has made us, his masterpiece, his workmanship, and we have great value, and we are unique. Yes. And rare. Yeah. Each person is made individually unique. That's good. By God. That's it's good. a masterpiece. Yes. But it's each person. Yes. That has been reborn by him. Yes. He has made us into a masterpiece. And that's awesome to me to think. And you treat a masterpiece different. Yeah. Yeah. Than you do a piece of art that you get from Walmart. Yeah. You treat a masterpiece different. Differently. And that, you know, genuinely you, you do that because when they create a masterpiece... It's only one of them. Yeah. You don't see like copies. 10 copies mm -hmm. of a masterpiece. Well, you can. You may see a copy. <laughs> you may see a copy of it, but it is not the original masterpiece. Yeah. And so it does not, and ooh, this have is good. Value. It does not have the value mm -hmm. of the created masterpiece. Yeah. And so that's, that's something right there that mm -hmm. we could just spend mm -hmm. hours on just talking about that. Like, being a masterpiece, there's only one of you. Yeah. You are, unique. like you said, you are unique. Mm -hmm. God created you. And as the scripture says, he created you. He created me. He created all of you out there. Mm -hmm. It says for good works. Yes. Yes. God yes. created us for good works. Yes. Which he prepared before. Yes. And that we should walk in them. That we should walk That's in what those. the word says. What it says. He prepared beforehand, before we were even born. God created this masterpiece, which is you, mm -hmm. which is me, which is you. He created this masterpiece. Then he created the works for the masterpiece mm -hmm. that we in. should walk in those works. Yes. And so that's why when you find people giving themselves over and allowing themselves to be influenced by mm -hmm. the evil one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why it looks the way it looks because we weren't created to be his workmanship. Mm -hmm. We were created to be the father's workmanship. Yes. And so it's, it's, uh, 
it's pretty good here. Yeah. <laughs> this yeah. is this is good. So we want to share um, what thoughts the Lord has given to us further about this. Yes. Um, as we said, good works were created beforehand for us to walk in them. We're not saved by those works, yes. however, but we were created to walk in those works. By grace, we were saved, and by that grace, we walk in the created works, the yes. good works. Yes. One of uh, the the things of our mission, our mission is based on Hebrews, the 10th chapter, verses 24 and 25. And one of the verses talks about considering one another to stir up love and good works. That's Hebrews 10, 24. You need others to stir up the good works in you that God has placed inside of you. Yeah to walk in those good works. You need others to help you to stir those up, that we stir each other to good works, not to evil works, but that we help one another to be led in that, to be uh, led by the Spirit, to walk in the good works, and we help each other to do that. Amen. The word for works is ergon. That's the Greek word. And I thought it was interesting because... That word, the verse that's right above, says it was by grace that we have been saved and not of ourselves. It's the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. The works there is ergon. And then when we talk about the 10th verse, good works, it's the same Greek word. It's a work, a task, or employment, a deed, an action, that which is wrought or made a work to work or accomplish a work or worker who accomplishes something yes god has accomplished something by creating mankind yes. each and every one of us as a unique individual he has accomplished something something great yes it's a deed or action that carries out or completes an inner desire yes it was god's desire that we be created for him, his workmanship, to walk in those good works that he created beforehand for us to walk in. This was his inner desire, his intention and his purpose. It's business or employment with which anyone is occupied, any product, whatever. Yes. Anything accomplished by hand, art, industry, or the mind. And we were talking about this. Like people will say, well, I don't know what God wants me to do. Right. <laughs> I don't know what God's will is for my life. Yes. And they read books and they ask people to pray for them and all because they're like, I don't know what God wants me to do. Well, this would suggest that you do because anything, it says, anything accomplished by hand, art, industry, or mind, that's the work that God has placed before you to walk in. Amen. Anything that your mind can fathom to think of that's good, and we're going to say what good is. Yeah. You can't even think good thoughts in and of yourself. That's yeah. what the Bible they says. They come from God. So anything good that you can think of, put your hand to do that, and you'll be doing the will of God that's in good. your life. That's good. So good is the Greek word agathos. Be before you go. Yeah. Because I, I want to go all the way. Yeah, I want to go all the way back to when you were in Hebrews. Yes. Because as you were speaking, the light bulb kind of went off. A lot of times when people quote that scripture, mm -hmm. they use it to uh, get people to come to church. Mm -hmm. The 25th verse, the, mm -hmm. the not forsaking yourselves to assemble uh, together, mm -hmm. uh, as as some do, as we see the day approaching. Mm -hmm. Listen, I'm understanding based on what we're studying now, based on the previous verses before. Mm -hmm. You understand that that the reason we're being told not to forsake the assembly that's not to forsake coming together with the saints, yes. whether that be in your home, yes. whether that be at church, whether that be at a coffee shop. Wherever that is, mm -hmm. because when we come together, we stir one another up to do good works. Yes. We stir each other 
by coming together. Yes. That's why it's so important for us to make sure that we are having times of fellowship, like that time of fellowship yeah. that we shared with you guys earlier from the prayer zone. Like I was literally that day yes. in a place where I like, I really needed prayer. Yes. And then when Lady Renee shared that word of God and as the, as the uh, Pastor Tina and as Alice and some of the other ones that mm -hmm. began to share on the verse that we were talking about, mm -hmm. it it stirred me up. It it lifted my spirit. Yes. And I and uh, I believe that's what this verse is talking about. Yes. It's not just necessarily talking about don't forget to go to church. No, listen, don't forget to come together with the saints of God. Yes. Wherever that may be, because as you come together, you will draw strength from one another, and you will be stirred. To do good things, yes. good works. That the work. Father, yes. Amen. 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 Yeah. yeah. So good, because good. we're not just talking about any work. Yeah. We're talking about good works. Good works. Absolutely. So good, the Greek word is agathos, and that means intrinsically good, good in nature, good whether it be seen to be so or not. And in a day where people call good evil and evil good. Yes, they do. Yeah. Whether it says good, whether it be seen to be so or not. And in a day where people are calling what is good evil, it is intrinsically good. God put these intrinsically good works before us to walk in them. He placed them on the inside in our hearts and then put the path before us to walk in them. They're intrinsically good. It's the whitest and most colorless of all words with this meaning. That just means it encompasses everything that you think of as being good. It describes what originates from God and is empowered by him in their life through faith. Now, here's where it connects to last month's word, which was upright. The upright way was our yes. thing. Agathos, or good, also means what is upright honorable and acceptable to God. Yes. Yes. So he created beforehand these works, good works to walk in them that are upright, honorable and pleasing to God. Yes. Yes, that's good. Yeah. That's really really good. And so uh with that being said, you know, we can we can think of some of the things that you can just find to do that are good works. Mm -hmm. Like look for opportunities to do good. The yeah. scripture also says look for opportunities to do good, but to especially, especially do good to those who are of the household of faith. So uh, this is this is a good word, yeah. Pastor Lawanda. Yeah. It's I'm, really I'm, good. I'm glad that the Lord gave us this to, to share um, he gives it to us first and then to share with others. And I'm, I'm blessed by it this month. Yes. I'm, I'm not that I wasn't blessed the other months because I was, but I'm blessed by this particularly um, this month because sometimes we have to be reminded yes, of absolutely. who we are. Sometimes we go through things and um, things don't look the way we think they ought to look. Um, or things aren't going in a, in a way where you think it should be going or where, the way you anticipated it to go. But God still has you on his mind yeah. as a masterpiece. Yes. And that he has already beforehand ordained you to walk in what it is he called for you to do. You know, beforehand. Yes. That, that Greek word means to prepare before, prepare or appoint beforehand, predestined. And that's a whole nother subject for a whole nother day about predestination. But it also means ready because prepared and made ready in advance. Ready, already prepared. So God made ready in advance. Yeah. These works, these good works, these honorable, upright and pleasing to him works. Yes. For us to walk in them yes you know and you can choose not to walk in them but then you see 
the repercussions of choosing not to walk in them. Yeah. We said last month about the upright way that it is a blessed way. Yes. It's a level, smooth way. Yes. Yes. You know, we said a whole lot about what promises God has given to those that are upright. Yeah. And good is going to always win. Yes. Over evil. Yes, it is. I, uh, you know, it just it just kind of goes back. I, I, when you're talking about these things, listen, I'll share with you. I shared this with some of the men in one of the Bible studies I had. Listen, the path of obedience, mm -hmm. it's a smooth path. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it doesn't mean that there's nothing that happens on that path. Right. But the path is smooth. Mm -hmm. You know, you you it's it's one that uh, that gives you assurance yes. because the path of obedience is not you're obeying a man, but you obeying the will of God, mm -hmm. and that's the path that I'm talking about. When you put yourself on the path of obedience to mm -hmm. do this word, mm -hmm. to live this word, to obey this word, mm -hmm. to Keep it before your eyes always. Yes, as it says. As it says in the Bible, yes. when you meditate on it day, day and night, night, that's when you make your way prosperous, and yes. then that's when you will have good, good success. success. Mm -hmm. And so, this, this, all, as you, as you, as we've studied and as we've listened to God for these words for each month, mm -hmm. it's just amazing how they're all tying together. It is, and it's painting a picture that I feel like God is sharing with with the body of Christ through Heart Touch Ministry. Mm -hmm. You know, we are a ministry that we in a, a, the the Hebrews 10, 24 and 25 is is our is our scriptural verse, mm -hmm. our, our mission and our vision verses. And so, you know, we are a ministry and our purpose is to stir people to good works. Yes. To mm -hmm. to to care for one another, mm -hmm. you know, and this is, you need that in the body. Yes. Like all of our missions can't be the same. Right. Like we can't do what, you know, like what the, the hill might do or what life in Christ might do or what terrestrial might do mm -hmm. or what destiny might do. Mm -hmm. But if we bring all of that together and we work together, we're then we're one body bringing about the will of God in the earth and realm. Yes. And that's what we are charged to do. And, and mm -hmm. I don't want to forget to do this before we get off today. Like, mm -hmm. I want to encourage someone. Like, when I was studying this, mm -hmm. I, 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 it, it became ever so clear to me that, you know, I don't have to buy what someone else thinks of me. I don't have to buy someone else's opinion of me. Mm -hmm. And many of you, you might have been told you're not going to amount to anything. You might feel like you've done too much for God to ever use you. That's a lie from it the is. enemy. It it's a lie from the enemy. Like, listen, he created you as his workmanship. And to help you understand it, his masterpiece. Mm -hmm. And then he didn't just do that. He didn't just leave it at, I created this masterpiece. Then he created the good works for the masterpiece, yes. for the workmanship. Before he created you, right. he created these good works for you so that you could walk in them. Yes. Choose today to walk in the good works that he has created for you, his masterpiece, to walk in. And this is the thing about about sin, see? Sin, the word means to miss the mark. So what happens is if you don't walk in the good works, because I said earlier, you could choose not to. Yeah. Right? Sin is to miss the mark. Yes. Of the path of the masterpiece. Yes. <laughs> That's good. So That's you good. could choose to do that, but why would you? Yeah. You've been made a unique, valuable masterpiece. The why only would, one. The only one. Yes. So why would you want to miss the mark 
of where the masterpiece is supposed to go. That's right. I That's desire, right. and I hope you do too, to walk in the works that God took the time to think about beforehand. Amen. For me to walk in. Amen. That is my desire to walk in each one of those good works. Amen. Amen. So listen, today uh, we we hope that we've said something to inspire you, to stir you up. Yes. To good to works. To good works. <laughs> yes. We hope that we've, we've done that today. And uh, I just want to pray. There may be someone out here that hear, that's hearing our voice. Uh, for the first time, you might be hearing about yourself being a masterpiece. And you may just be hearing the word of God for the first time. But you don't want to take it for granted that there are people listening to us who uh, who have who don't have a need for Jesus. Somebody may have a need for Jesus that's listening to us. Mm -hmm. In fact, we all have a need for Jesus. Amen. Whether you know him or not, you still have a need for him. Yes. So I'm going to pray this prayer. And if you're out there, I just ask that you repeat after me. And uh, then we'll go from there. So the prayer. Dear Jesus, I am a sinner and I cannot save myself. I thank you that you would think of me and that you would create me to be your masterpiece. I ask that you would come into my heart today and live on the inside of me. I believe that you died for my sins and that you rose again victorious over death and over the grave and that you are now seated at the right hand of your father making intercession for me, your masterpiece. I receive you into my heart and I accept you as my Lord and as my Savior. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 So listen, if you repeated that prayer after me, listen, you are now part of the kingdom of the Most High God. Amen. And I would encourage you today to find a Bible-believing church to connect yourself with so that you will be able to fellowship and be able to be stirred up to good works yes. and that you don't forsake assembling with other believers who are like-minded like you. Mm -hmm. We thank you for joining us today. God bless you and we'll see you the next time. God bless you. Amen. <laughs>